Today's lesson is on special right triangles. And as you can see, I have already uh, sketched out a right triangle, and this happens to be an isosceles right triangle, so that's what we mean by kind of special right triangles. And let's say, we're going to say that these sides are six, and uh, this side is our own unknown, unknown, excuse me. And so the Pythagorean theorem says that we can solve for the hypotenuse by squaring the two bases and uh, summing them together. Then 6 squared is 36. 36 equals c squared. 36 plus 36, that's a 72, equals c squared. So c must be the square root of 72. I haven't done anything special yet, right? It's just Pythagorean theorem. But now we got to simplify this. Uh, and so we maybe do the jailbreak method here to uh, now at this point you might tell that that's that's six times six and so if you're using if you're familiar with the, your perfect squares that would be great if you want to continue on 18 2 9 3 3 and if I'm doing the jailbreak uh, I would say that these two would break out in these two and that one we left in leaving me with 2 times 3 square root of 2. So C is equal to 2 times 3 square root of 2. And that's the simplified answer. Fantastic. Well, that, okay. So you don't watch this video at all, you could still get the answer. But today we're going to kind of talk about maybe there's actually, I don't have to do all that. Because let's say we have the same isosceles right triangle. And I'm going to put x here. And here's my c. Go about it the same way. So x squared plus x squared equals c squared. And x squared plus x squared is 2x squared equals c squared. And because we're talking about uh, positive roots, we can square root both sides. Giving me a c on this side. This side, the x times x would simplify, and that would break out, leaving me with a root 2 in the uh, underneath the radical. And that's what you get from watching the video. If you know that it's an isosceles right triangle, the hypotenuse is nothing more than the leg times root 2. It will work every time. And right triangle conjecture. In an isosceles right triangle, if the legs have length x, then the hypotenuse has length x root 2. And there I drew a picture of it like that. So you can put that in your notes. You can hit pause and like this. I have also right now uh, have an example where it's not so nice the hypotenuse. I tell you the, the hypotenuse and you have to find the legs. So you might think, okay, wait a minute. Now this is a little bit different. But if I look at my example to find if I knew it's, it's x root 2, if I found x, I would know what that is. Or in this case, if I find a. So I'm going to tackle this like a root 2, the hypotenuse, is equal to 16. Now to solve for a, that would be a equals 16 divided by root 2. Which is an answer, but it's just not simplified. To simplify that, we multiply by root 2 over root 2, the special case of 1. That would give me 16 root 2 over 2, which that would simplify down to 8 root 2. So A, in fact, would be 8 root 2. And if you check in your head, if you take that and multiply it times root 2, you would indeed get 16. I'll just show that root 2 you could see that that would be 8 times 2. Hmm. Yay! All right, moving on. Uh, now I have an equilateral triangle. And we all love the equilateral triangle. It has all the points of concurrency lying in one spot. And But this video is on right triangles. And so, well, where's the right triangle? Well, if we recall, uh, I have an equilateral triangle, which is uh, equilateral, equiangular, every angle 60 degrees. 
And the Euler line will, in fact, run straight down from a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. So it's the altitude, it's the median. Oh, it's the median. Well, that means it cuts that one in half. So these both are four. Now I do have a special right triangle. I have a triangle that has a 90 degree angle, a 60 degree angle. Oh, and this here, as we recall, that is an angle bisector. So that would be a 30 degree angle. And we, so I'll blow that up a little bit here and redraw that. I have a right triangle. This side's four, this side's eight, this side is 60, this, excuse me, this angle is 60, and this angle is 30. Um, and the only thing I'm missing is this side length of right there, which is the altitude of that equilateral triangle. So uh, we can figure that out, right? If I make that b squared plus 4 squared equals 8 squared, and that would be b squared plus 16 equals 64. Subtract 16 on both sides. We would get 48. And so b is equal to the square root of 48. And like the other triangle, we need a simplifier radical. So, take 48 divided by 2 is 24 divided by 2 is 12 divided by 2 6, 2, and three. Now I can use my jailbreak method. Boom, boom. Those two. So I've got two times two. And once again, a root three in there. Uh, two times two is uh, four root three. And that's my missing side. So that's B. Fantastic. I've solved it. Well, like before, you could solve this every time and figure it out through the Pythagorean theorem. But is there a relationship. So I am going to draw, let's see, uh, how about I just draw half of the equilateral triangle. There's half of the equilateral triangle. And I know whatever I choose for this side, let's call this side x, that was half of the other side, right? If the whole equilateral triangle is there, that, so this hypotenuse is twice as big. If you look back up here, that's four, eight, yes, fantastic, right? So, and the only one that we're solving for is the, high, is the uh, altitude. So I'll just do that again. I'll call that B. B squared plus X squared equals 2X quantity squared. Be careful with your algebra. That's a 4X squared, yes? And then subtracting x squared on both sides, I would get b squared equals 3x squared. And square root of both of them. Leaving me with b must be equal to, that would jailbreak, x root 3. So, in fact, there is a relationship between all three sides always. And up here, this was 4, that altitude turned out to be 4 root 3, uh, and the hypotenuse was twice as big. In this case, it was x, 2x, and that last side is actually x root 3. And that's our conjecture for that. And what we're going to do is call that triangle a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Those are referring to the angles. Uh, the other one we also could call 45, 45, 90. But this one we're going to call a 30, 60, 90 triangle. If the shorter leg has length A, then the longer leg has length A root 3, and the hypotenuse would be uh, 2A. And I have sketched out a drawing of that uh, conjecture. And here's an example that we, we, you may see. If I have an equilateral triangle with all are 10, all sides are 10, you now can do the Pythagorean theorem, or you can watch this video and listen to it, and know that this side must be 5, that X is 5 root three. Done. Moving on. Gift to all those people that don't like showing work. This one. There is your 60, 90. That is your 30. Right? 
Now, this one's a little bit trickier because I gave you the longer leg, and we can't just solve it. So I know that my in, in my formula, this is x, this is 2x, this is x root 3. So this 12 is x root 3. So let's, let's make it equal to x root 3. If we know x, then we know all the whole sides. We can solve the triangle. So divide by root 3 on both sides. Uh, we get x is equal to 12 over root 3, right? But we can't leave it like that. We have to multiply by a special case of 1. And that gives us 12 root 3 over 3, which can simplify to 4 root 3. And that is my x right here. And to get the, long, the hypotenuse, that's twice as much as 4 root 3, but that would be 8 root 3. Hope that makes sense. Uh, so, here we go. Here are the problems for you to uh, tackle on your own. Uh, I think you can check yourself. You can see what's going on. That is an isosceles right triangle. There's an equilateral triangle. There's your friend 30, 60, 90. And that one is a square. And I'm trying to look for the hypotenuse. Okay. Good luck. See you tomorrow.